Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Thursday, Thursday, April 25th and the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number one vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So I'm smiling because I'm looking at my notes, not much notes, but just telling me what day I'm covering and any major things that's happening in the day so that I could remember to touch on it in case I forget. And Mercury goes direct today. I'm so happy about Mercury going direct. Um, and it's not even because throughout the Mercury retrograde phase that I've had any trouble or anything like that, but it's like throughout this Mercury retrograde phase, and it wasn't even just Mercury retrograde, it's like so much happening in the month of April, so much happening for me in my personal life. And just with the way how I've been feeling, it's almost like I've felt like I'm capsulated, kind of. Um, it's like my life feels or my life looks <clears throat> the way how it normally looks, but I just don't feel the same and not feeling the same in a bad way. Um, it's just that there's just a difference. It just Maybe <clears throat> maybe it has something to do with, like, say, even Mars, Mars being in the sign of um, the sign of Pisces. And, you know, maybe that has something to do with it because Mars is our motivation. And maybe, you know, maybe that might have something to do with it, along with everything else that's going on. But I feel the way how it feels for me. It's like, I feel like, like I'm observing my reality, but I'm sleepwalking to a certain extent. Um, yeah, that's how it feels like. I guess I just feel capsulated, like I'm in an incubator, like I'm in a womb. And I feel like with the month of April, <clears throat> I feel like the month of April definitely represents some kind of a portal to a certain extent, some kind of a shift within energy, within timelines within realms and yeah I feel like I'm in the waiting room I've said that before a while back about something but this definitely feels like that but yeah it's just if April felt different April felt different and I know that it would have felt different but I didn't know how it would feel different and I just like I said I feel like I'm observing my reality but like sleepwalking awake if that makes sense or I guess the best way that I would explain is like I feel like I'm capsulated it's almost like I feel like I'm seeing life through sunglasses or through some kind of a shade not rose color glasses meaning that I'm seeing it as something that it's not it's just that the vision of it is different it's like it's like there's some kind of a a, a filter over it and um, yeah, it feels like there's some kind of a filter over it is how I would best explain how it feels. But the energies in today adds up to the number one vibration. Um, and the number one energy deals with new beginnings, fresh starts, new perspective, which is awesome because like Mercury goes direct today. Jupiter is the ruler of the day and Jupiter energy is amplifying everything about the day and the energies in the day adding up and reducing to the number one vibration, the number one is connected to the sun and the sun energy is amplifying the day the warmth of the sun for some of us i feel like a day like today okay 
now okay now it's starting to click to me as i'm speaking so you know how i say i feel like um like i feel capsulated i feel like i'm wearing sunglasses or something where i'm seeing everything that i normally see but it feels like there's a filter that i'm looking through um the way the energies in today feel is like say your smartphone is downloading or getting updated and finally the update is done and you can access um your your device again because all of the updating has completed i feel like the month of april feels like i've been getting updated and it's like i have access to things that it feels like i've always had access to but the access just feels different it's like it just feels different everything looks the same but it feels different and how about you how have you been feeling the month of april like how has things been feeling for you when it comes to the spirit animal pertaining today we have the bear energy and the way how the bear came out the bear brings me to um how um whenever i see the bear i always think about seasons and cycles i remember at one point the bear came out a lot for us and i feel like the bear came out a lot at that time because for all of us in our own way we needed to be more prepared we needed to be more organized in some aspect of our lives and the way how the bear energy came out it just brings me to the feeling of um don't celebrate too soon don't celebrate too soon in the sense that there's still work to do and when i say still work to do it'll feel like say we're traveling and we're on a plane and we can't see out the windows and we thought we just landed, which we did land, but we didn't land at our destination. We land because the, the, the plane needed to get fueled up. So it lands somewhere along the way to get some fuel because some way, somehow it wasn't fully equipped to get us to exactly wherever it is that we needed to go. So with the way the bear energy came out, it just brings me to that. It's like, you still have a little bit of ways to go. And when I say ways to go, I mean, there that's life. It's always going to be a next step and something else to get done before we get to the next step. So it's like, it's important for us to always make sure we keep living. Like, what does it mean for you to live your best life in this moment? Like in this moment with what you have and where you are, how could you live your best life? That's a question that we need to ask ourselves all the time because you could easily find yourself spending this life waiting to get to the next stop. And when you look back, you realize you lived no life at all because you were waiting to get to the next stop. Or with constantly bad news and fear happening in the media, there's always a reason to stop living, put life on hold or feel like it's pointless to invest into certain things or it's pointless to pursue certain things because the world is coming to an end anyways. And, you know, when it comes to today's energy, I feel like it's important to remember that there'll always be a reason to put life on hold. There'll always be a reason to put life off. And as often as you could remember, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, ask yourself, what does it mean to live my best life in this moment where I am with what I have? And ask yourself, are you doing that? And what can you do in this moment to live your best life where you are with what you have? And the goal for this for me is to get to a point where there's no regrets. Like when, you know, I'm maxed out in years in this life and it's time for me to move on to the next i just don't want to have any regrets i feel like regret is one of the worst things that can happen to a person so yeah energies are moving forward but um we're not quite there yet and when i say there yet meaning clearly there's some kind of an energetic shift clearly a lot of us could feel a change in our lives. A lot of us are probably at a crossroads at this point. When I say crossroads, maybe someone is looking to shift careers or looking to make a move, looking to make major things happen and might feel like I don't have all the things necessary to make it happen, but everything you need in this moment you have. And you just have to trust that 
and just trust that in the next moment, everything you need will present itself also. Today we have the moon in Scorpio and the moon in Scorpio today feels a lot better than it may have felt during the full moon energy because we have the stellium and Pisces soothing the moon in Scorpio because that Pisces Neptunian energy it adds comfort to the pain that that Pluto Scorpion transformative energy brings. It's like giving birth or experiencing some major changes in your life. It's like that Pisces Neptune escapism energy helps you to kind of like glide through. Like I think of someone experiencing a traumatic change in their life. Maybe there's a death in the family or there's some major loss or some major change. And I think of Neptune Pisces energy. It's like, you know, smoking or drinking or finding comforts to get through that time. So it's like the time was painful, but it wasn't as painful because there was buffering. And I feel like that Neptune Pisces energy is that buffering energy. With the moon in Scorpio, our inner world is in a place where we're reflecting on taking control over our lives and feeling emotionally stable by knowing that we have control over our lives. And the moon in Scorpio is opposing Uranus conjunct Jupiter in Taurus. And I'm smiling at the Uranus conjunct Jupiter energy because even though I didn't cover it much on the 20th, like this energy is powerful energy because every say 15 years or so, we have that conjunction. I was born during a conjunction, um, Uranus conjunct Jupiter energy. And with this conjunction um, energy, for all of us, it creates some kind of an opportunity for financial freedom or freedom in some sense and expansion when it comes to that freedom. But sometimes the expansion that's necessary in order to create the freedom is not always easy. It could be painful. It could be stressful. This is where we have to let certain things go, let certain people go. When I think about, you know, how I started this session and um, I started this message and I said, I feel capsulated. I feel like I just feel different. Everything looks the same, but it just feels really different. It, looking at the conjunction energy, which um, is also speaking positively to what's happening in Pisces, it brings me to the thought of how our life is ready to shift. Everything is ready. The bags and everything is packed and it's time for us to go. And we're thinking that we could take this thing with us or that person with us, this habit or whatever. And it's like that thing can't come with us because the next version of ourselves isn't in alignment with that thing. So with the way the bear energy came out, it's like, like I say, we still have a ways to go and there's some preparation or some things that are still happening, um, some shifts that are happening in our world individually, and it'll look different for all of us. That's preparing us to move into our next frequency. And that will look and feel different for everyone. And it's important to always remember that everything is always working out for you. And in the moments when it doesn't seem that way, those are the moments that I'll say, God, I don't know why this is happening, but I trust you. It always works out anyways. Everything is always happening for our greatest good, even when we don't know the details as to why. And I feel like in a day like today, it's important to know that everything is happening for your greatest good, even when you don't know all the reasons why. And we have the eight of cups in the upright position. So there's definitely some walking away from some old emotional cycle. Some, some, and, and with the number eight, the number eight energy is one that deals with systems and cycles. So this is the energy that is the hardest to unprogram because this energy deals with programs, systems, and cycles. And then when you think of our emotions, you know, so it's like walking away from an old emotional system like that's the hardest thing ever but some way somehow today we could find ourselves walking away or recognizing that we need to walk away
from some old emotional system or cycle. Maybe yesterday, you know, something came to an end and today it's like, okay, an exception of it. With the way how the bear energy came out, um, like I said, it's like you're traveling somewhere and you thought you're at the destination, but you know, there's a little bit more ways to go. There's a little bit more that's needed to get to the next step. But just because we need to get to the next step doesn't mean we need to make an enemy out of this moment. But when I look at the moon positively aspecting Neptune energy um, and the con and the stellium and Pisces, more than likely we're going to try to escape what it is that we're feeling in the moment because more than likely for some of us, it makes us feel a bit powerless. And then the back and forth between the moon and the um, conjunction of Uranus and Jupiter and Taurus, you know, there's this need of feeling secure and having control, but then the random changes in our world and our financial situation. So it's like, this is where we're like, okay, something is going to change, but I'm scared because the change that's coming is change that I'm not used to. It's change. I don't know what's coming. So it's terrifying that this change is coming. But with this energy here, it's inevitable. So sometimes we go through things and you might think other people won't relate or won't be able to understand. And that's okay. Just keep trusting yourself. Keep trusting yourself. And I feel like that's the energy that's needed to move forward is to keep trusting yourself. Because with Mercury now direct and we're at the end of this month, I feel like all the changes and the beginnings and the shifts that has happened through the month, it's like it may have been hard for us to feel it. Or, you know, like I said, everything looks the same, but it feels different. And I feel like as we exit the month of April, Mercury is going direct. So the mind now is in a more focused place. It's not glazed over looking back. And then we're going to have Mars entering into Aries and Venus is you know, Venus is at home in Taurus, you know, Venus is going to be entering into Taurus at home. I feel like just Mars entering into Aries, it's like, it's going to change things. It's like, we're going to start to see a lot of what it is that we're feeling. You know, a lot of us are feeling these things that we're manifesting, but we don't see it. And I feel like, you know, the shift is coming. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. Hey guys, I want to share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session. The first one is understanding your internal programming. The second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion. The third is setting goals for success. The fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement. And the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses, no one can use them against you. And when you're aware of your strengths, that makes you unstoppable. And that is why I say self-awareness is a superpower. The fifth benefit is removing obstacles. We first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place. The sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics. We don't have to change the people in our lives. We have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes. And the seventh benefit is upcoming transits. If that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware. So if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session or learning more about it, the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions or both within the description box below. If you'd like to check out my Patreon where I share exclusive content and also to become a part of the meetup group, which is my favorite thing on Patreon, the link to check out what's happening on Patreon is in the description box below. Please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a red heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.